W-E-A-F, New York. 8.30 p.m. B-U-L-O-V-A, Boulevard Watch Time. Boulevard. At better jewelers everywhere. A pack of Avalon cigarettes, please. Yes, sir. Just a moment, sir. Don't forget your change. You'd never guess, but Avalon's cost you less. This is Del King for the first time on Wednesday night saying welcome to Avalon Time with Dick Todd, Edna Stilwell, Bud Hercules Vandover, Marlon Hurt, the Avalon Chorus, Bob Strong and his orchestra, and radio's red-headed ragamuffin Richard Red Skelton. The orchestra opens the program with The Little Man Who Wasn't There. <laughs> Avalon cigarettes are guaranteed unsurpassed in quality. You couldn't get finer quality tobaccos in any other cigarette. Regardless of price, regardless of brand. And still, Avalon's cost three to five cents less per pack. Three to five cents less, mind you, than other popular price brands. A very worthwhile saving. Try a pack of Avalon's tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have anything to do around the house, like uh, fire the furnace, turn on the electric fan, wash the dishes, any odd jobs you haven't finished, <laughs> now's the time to do them, because here comes America's streamlined jester with his weekly news, grist from the fun mill, Red Skelton. Thank you, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And now for the news from coast to coast. Man invents Polaroid glasses that eliminate glare. See, I'll have to get my landlady a pair. <laughs> no kidding, every time she looks at me, my shirt rolls up. <laughs> Hollywood, California, Marlena Dietrich to make a Western picture. Mm. <laughs> now I know what Horace Greeley meant. <laughs> Bombay, India. Mahatma Gandhi writes the hit song of the week. It's entitled, I Poured My Faith Into a Pen. <laughs> Chicago, Illinois. Joe Lewis was in town this week. Boy, there's a fighter. That's Joe Lewis. I used to be a fighter. Did I ever tell you about my first fight? Or did I ever tell you about my last fight? Same fight. <laughs> <laughs> I love fighting. My fighting ability comes natural. My whole family were Sunday drivers. <laughs> uh, I would die fast. Every time I'd hear the bell, I'd spring out of my corner, then somebody'd throw me back in the ring. <laughs> 
Oh, I'll never forget that last fight, though. In fact, every Saturday afternoon, I go out to the White City Arena just so I can be near my teeth. <laughs> Chicago, Illinois. The American Legion holds huge praise. It takes 15 hours to pass a given spot. The only trouble is nobody would give you the spot. <laughs> Oh, by the way, they found Elmer. He gave himself up to Winchell. <laughs> oh, my uncle, he was up here. He surprised everybody, my uncle Hody. You'd never know he was around unless you tripped over him. <laughs> it was a little noisy here in Chicago the last few days. There was one legionnaire who couldn't sleep, so he just started counting the people in his room and he just dropped right off. <laughs> Some of the boys were up from Vincent, my hometown. I took them over to see the Lewis and Pastor fight. <laughs> I didn't think we'd make it, though. We got there at the theater just as the 15 cent price was changing. <laughs> one, of the, <laughs> one of the legionnaires got into one of those Turkish baths on ladies' night. <laughs> he was very polite, though. He explained that he thought it was the headquarters of the Emily Post. <laughs> enough news for tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, we'd like you to meet at this time a new member of Avalon Time, a young fellow who's made many, many Victor records. He has a grand voice, and I'm sure that you'll all like his style of singing. And it's really a pleasure to present at this time, Dick Todd. Come on, fellas, sing it for us. My two blue orchids, my beautiful blue orchids, last night. And what a sweet surprise. When you looked at me, it was plain to see. Blue orchids only blue in your eyes. It's been often said that rich you'll be. Who dreams of something blue? Richer I shall always be For that's how I found you I dreamed of two blue orchids Two beautiful blue orchids One night While in my lonely room I dreamed of two blue orchids so full of love and light that I wanted to possess each tender bloom. Then my dream took wing and through a thousand springs, blue orchids seemed in a world apart. But when I met you, something pale and blue came stealing from the meadows of my heart. I saw my two blue orchids, my beautiful blue orchids last night. And what a sweet surprise. When you looked at me, it was plain to see. Blue orchids, only blue in your eyes. It's only blue in your eyes. That was Blue Orchid from the Colorblind Florist, sung by our new Avalon anchor man, Dick Todd. <laughs> I might add that he's sort of a glamour boy, too. If he only had my ears, he could match Gable, oomph for oomph. <laughs> of course, I don't do bad myself. At the Legion prayed yesterday, I had a girl on each arm. A girl on each arm, yeah. Red? Uh, who does your tattooing? The guy around... Uh... <laughs> hey, that was some praise, though. Look at... Fifteen hours of solid marching. Guys, I thought I'd never see this side of Michigan Boulevard again. <laughs> Say, uh, you haven't met Dick, have no, you? No, I haven't. Uh, Dick Todd, this is Red Skelton. Uh, Hiya, Skelton. I didn't know you. Gee, last Saturday after your program, my sides ached. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> A lot of laughs, huh? No, I tripped over the radio trying to turn it off. <laughs> uh, another comedian on the program. <laughs> if you mean me, where's the other one? 
<laughs> Witty, too, ain't he? What this program needs, Skelton, is more singing. Don't you think so? Well, yes and no. What do you mean, yes and no? Yes, I don't think so. No, we don't need any more singing. <laughs> And don't come on this program, fella, trying easy, to beat it. Easy, Red, easy. It was Mr. Avalon personally who wanted Dick Todd. Oh, so that's it. He got on this program with a pull. No, with a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> now, listen here. If I'm going to be the... Well, that's a relief. Have somebody take a rap at the door instead of me. <laughs> come in. Hello, well, if it ain't Gypsy Rose Levy. <laughs> please, please, please. On my radio program for beauty treatment, I'm being known as Lady Epstein. <laughs> you a beauty expert? Say, you really make money? But definitely, Mr. Skeleton. <laughs> I'm robbing the rich ladies. Uh, what? You mean you steal from them? Oh, no, no. I'm robbing of the fat. <laughs> with massaging, with robbing creams, I'm giving them a nice build. Yeah, a nice build, huh? Say, I'd like to see some of your work. You're a building inspector. <laughs> with, with you, I should frazzling my nerves. I'm going out and see how the legionnaires are advertising my new book on reducing. Your new book? What's the name of it? Hips, hips, away. <laughs> Well, uh, how do you like being on Wednesday night instead of Saturday, Red? Oh, swell. I'll bet in a couple of weeks there'll be millions of people tuning in about this time. Sure, waiting to hear Fred Allen. Yeah. <laughs> now, listen, Edna. Oh, who's the handsome-looking fellow? Oh, him? Oh, that's Dick Todd. He's the new singer. Well, I wish he'd stop annoying me. Annoying you? He hasn't even looked at you. That's what's annoying me. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Here's Strong. What is it, Bob? Well, Dick and I have been talking it over, and we've decided this program needs more music and song. Oh, wait a minute. I got something to say about that. I bet it won't get a laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know for sure that the sponsor wants more comedy on this show. Why, 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 to celebrate this new time, last night he took me out and broke open a new bottle of champagne. Ah. Uh. Well, if you don't believe me, I'll show you the stitches in my head. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll find out. We'll find out. You know, I don't think the sponsor swallows that stuff about you being the baby of the comedians. Well, why not? It's true. Don't kid me. Those aren't teething rings under your eyes. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you just wait and see. I'm going to make this a real juvenile program. I'd even send for a child movie actor to come over here tonight. That's probably the child actor now. Come in, Sonny. Well, are you the child star? Well, I ain't Frankenstein's grandpa. <laughs> Thank you, Lee, the child star. Oh, goodness, yes, Mr. Skelton. And I'm all ready to play the part of little Lark Angel Puss. <laughs> oh, you sure look cute in that jacket, Herky. <laughs> Say, what kind of material is that? Is that real English eating or just moth eating? <laughs> Say, don't you think you're a little bit too old to be a child star, Herky? Too old? Why, good heavens, no. Why, I'm so young, my mom still shaves me. <laughs> and am I the little toughy? Oh, you should hear me recite poetry. Poetry? I don't sound very tough. Oh, you should hear the poetry. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm just a big bully. Well, I'm afraid you don't fit into my plans as a child star, Herky. Oh, good heavens, then. I'll never find my proper place in this world. <laughs> but confidentially, Mr. Skelton, when I was born, the star flew over the zoo for three hours before I could talk him out of it. <laughs> ah, good old Herky. One of the seven blunders of the world. Uh, say, Red, I'll bet you can't name the seven wonders of the world. Who can? Why, it's nothing at all, Zell. You see, there's the Temple of Dinah, the Temple of Jupiter, and the Temple of Shirley. I mean, uh... <laughs> Let's see, there's the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, the uh, Colossus in Rhodes, the Pyramids in Egypt, and Brooklyn in third place. I mean, uh, <laughs> say, what is the seventh wonder of the world? How you ever got on this program? Yeah. <laughs> now, listen, Dick, you don't know me, but the way I put this program over, why, Mr. Avalon thinks I'm a wizard. That's me. I'm a wizard. Stop making an Oz of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's the use? Play some music, Bob. Well, what?
What do you know about this? Avalon time is full of surprises tonight. Here's something we know you've never heard before. Bob Strong and the boys playing Goody Goodbye, featuring our new singing group, The Four Pups. Gentlemen, did you hear how Grizzly the Grunt, the famous wrestler, described his last big match? Well, Grizzly was after the match, and he, here's what he said to me. He came up and he said, The high cost of cigarettes has a stranglehold on me, see? So I gives him the scissors. Nothing happens. I switch to a toehold. Nothing happens. I switch to a half Nelson. Nothing happens. I switch to Avalon's. I'm the winner. <laughs> <laughs> yes, friends, and you'll win all the way around when you switch to Avalon. Because you get cigarettes that are positively unsurpassed in quality, but cost three to five cents less per pack than other popular price brands. Give Avalon's a trial tonight. When Dick Todd joined the program, he requested that he be allowed to sing a popular number each week and also a song of the West. So for his second number tonight, you hear him in Ride, Tenderfoot, Ride. Ride, Tenderfoot, Ride tonight. See the old range riders there at your side. They're fast company So if you want to be a cowboy Then you got to ride Tenderfoot ride Tenderfoot ride You got to hit the trail In Oklahoma when the moon is pale and get to Texas with the morning mail For you can be a cowboy A cowboy You gotta rope and throw You gotta get your share of buffalo And win the money at the rodeo For you can be a cowboy Tonight. 
Be the old trains riders there at your side tonight. They're fast company. So if you want to be a cowboy, then you got to ride tenderfoot ride. Now we come to our slice of life, a short playlist about things that happen in everyday life, things that you do, that I do, in fact, everybody does. And tonight's episode is about a newly married couple who are on their way to meet her folks for the first time. <laughs> you set the scene, Del. Okay, the time about two in the afternoon, the place somewhere in your hometown. Now, as the scene opens, we find Edna Stilwell, who plays the part of the blushing bride, talking to her new husband, played by Skelton, who is a little red, too. Listen. Well, it won't be long now until you meet my folks. Are you nervous? Nervous? I feel like a plate of gelatin with a nervous breakdown. <laughs> I know you'll like Mother and Dad, and I hope they like you. Well, I don't know why they shouldn't. I don't drink, chew, or stay out late at night. In fact, I'm a regular tomboy. <laughs> well, gee, uh, they live along here somewhere, don't they? Which house is it? You see that beautiful mansion on the corner? Yeah, is that where you live? No, that's a filling station. They live in the little house next door. Oh. <laughs> Say, that's a cute little house. Why is it only half painted, though? Well, that's the half that's paid for. Oh. Cute. Oh, there's Dad sitting on the porch. He just loves to sit and face the sun. Mm. But I'm afraid he'll overdo it. Yeah, his nose is just about right. <laughs> Kind of anemic, though, ain't he? Boy, celery next to him would look like rhubarb. <laughs> but he is distinguished looking, though. Well, he ran for mayor four years ago. Yeah, what's he doing now? Nothing. He was elected. <laughs> Gee, that sure is a nice house. Are both those garages there? No, the one on the right, Mother. <laughs> you better stop along here. Okay. Oh. I gotta get those brakes fixed. <laughs> oh, Mother! Mother! No, Edna, my little baby. Oh, Edna! What's she crying about? She lose her job? Oh, Edna, let me look at you. Why, you haven't changed a bit. Well, pay the taxi driver and come in the house. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't no taxi driver. Mother, this is my husband. You've made a mistake. Yeah. Your husband? Oh, I'm sorry for my mistake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't get over the idea of my little Edna being married to a man. Well. <laughs> You think it would help if I learned to cook or sew or something? Oh, oh, I feel weak. Huh? I'm fainting. Oh, what's that? Help me, some of you. Well, yeah. don't stand well, there. Do something. Don't, don't. She's fainted. Help! Please, help! Uh, stupid. Oh. Hello, Edna. Hello. Where's Mother? Oh, there she is, lying there. <laughs> don't she look natural? <laughs> oh, well. She's only fainted. Well, get the smelling salts while we tow her into the house. <laughs> Yeah, I'll help you, Dad. I'm Edna's husband. You are? Congratulations. Grab a leg. <laughs> uh, boy, she sure is hard to handle. How would you know? <laughs> Here's the smelling salt. Here, Mother, take a deep breath. Oh, I'm all right now. But well, why didn't you tell Mother you were going to elope so suddenly? Oh. And besides, how will you feel when you face your friends? Oh, don't worry about that. I gave them all their rings back. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what am I, a lucky number in a raffle? <laughs> well, I hope it works out for you. Mr. Uh, Mr. What was your name? Skelton. Richard Skelton. Oh, yes, I must remember that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, you're an American, aren't you? Oh, yes, ma'am, 100%. I haven't worked in three years. <laughs> What have you done to distinguish yourself lately? Are you outstanding in any line? Yeah, I'm the only Republican that ain't running for president. <laughs> oh, well, let's go inside. Yes, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll open the window so the neighbors won't miss anything. <laughs> well, we can't stay very long. Oh. You see, we have to check in at the hotel. You'll do no such thing. You can sleep with me, and he can sleep in the Murphy bed with Father, as long as he doesn't kick. Well, I won't kick if Murphy don't. <laughs> That's very nice, Mother, but you see what... Uh, look, you see, uh, this is sort of a honeymoon, you see. Uh, you do see, don't you? No, I don't. And if it is your honeymoon, why didn't you go to Niagara Falls? Well, you see, when we got married, it was raining, and Richard said Niagara Falls was made out of the same stuff. So... <laughs> okay, we, we'll stay. Thank you very much. Well, that's better. Come, Edna. Don't you want to freshen up? Yes, I'll be right with you. Just as soon as I kiss my snooky wookie goodbye. <laughs> oh, nutsy watsy. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. Gee, I hope she don't forget me while she's gone. <laughs> Son, I don't want to be a butt empty, but you're getting off on the wrong foot. I am? I know. I've been married three times. You have? Gee, sort of an old established firm, eh, Pop? <laughs> Well, now, come in here. I want to show you something. Yeah, okay. Hey, this house is bigger on the inside than it looks, ain't it? Yeah, well, uh, what I wanted to tell you was this. What? Now, you just got married. Yeah. So right away, you've got to start handling your wife with an iron hand. Yeah? Oh, you've got to be the boss in your family, just like I'm the boss in mine. Yeah? Why, do you know any time I want to, I can make my wife jump? What do you do, give her a hot foot? <laughs> oh, no, no, I just trained her that way. Uh, well, that's what I'm going to do. That's From now on, I'm going to be the boy. That's the spirit. You yeah. do like I do. Wear the pants. Yeah, my wife ain't going to tell me what to do. No. Now you've got the idea, wrap them around your little thing. That's the idea. I'll call my wife down and give you a few points. Okay. Hey, Marthy, come here immediately. Hey, I'll call Edna down here, too, then. Hey, Edna, come down here, will you? Good we'll tell them a thing or three. Well, what do you want? Yeah, what do you want? Uh, 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 maybe you better tell him, son. Huh? <laughs> well, uh, we were just sort of wondering what time well. dinner would be ready. <laughs> <laughs> Avalon cigarettes cost three to five cents less per pack than other popular priced brands. But you positively could not get finer quality tobaccos in any other cigarette, regardless of price, regardless of brand. Try a pack and save the difference. Well, I guess this ends our first hash Wednesday. Right, old Red, and, uh... Say, I... Skelton, how about that singing? Now, look, Dick, comedy may not be important to you, but at least it keeps me alive. Prove it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's the use? Good night, everybody. We'll see you all next Wednesday. Good night, now.
remember, friends, during the week when you ask for Avalon cigarettes... Don't forget your change. So why not always travel on with Avalon? Yes, you'd never guess, but Avalon's cost only 10 cents plus city or state tax. Well, we hope that we've made a lot of new friends with our first program on Wednesday night. And our sponsor, the Brown and Williamson Tobacco Corporation, invites you to be with us next Wednesday night at the same time for Avalon Time. This is Del King saying good night. Special announcement for pipe smokers. Men, we'd like you to try Sir Walter Raleigh. It's the quality pipe tobacco of America. In fact, Sir Walter Raleigh is the largest selling pipe tobacco in the Army, the Navy, on American college campuses. Yes, everywhere you find men who know quality smoking. You'll like Sir Walter Raleigh pipe tobacco, too. So why not give it a trial tonight? Avalon Time is presented from our Chicago studios. This is the National Broadcasting Company. W-E-A-F, New York.